Canadian Senator, I have been honoured to add my name to the global parliamentary outcry against the repression of Hong Kong. And uh, this latest attack on um, a newspaper in Hong Kong that is known for strong points of view is very concerning, as were the previous attacks. I think it is excellent that we've heard from the US Secretary of State, the State Department, with concerns about what this means for freedom of the press. Freedom of the press is key to a democracy. It is key to a peaceful world. And when we have attacks like this, regardless of where they come from, but especially if they appear to be connected to the state uh, that is trying to repress or silence media, then we have a situation that concerns all of us in the world as global citizens. As someone who has loved the city of Hong Kong and the people of Hong Kong for a very long time, it is really so disappointing and so upsetting to know that your freedoms are being rolled back on a daily basis, that people who are being peaceful, who are exercising their democratic rights and their human rights are, are being repressed, are being imprisoned. And this latest attack is an indicator of the very serious decline in Hong Kong. And again, we see China as the chief bully of the world. Well, we have seen our diplomats and our minister for global affairs, Mark Gano, reach out to over 30 other countries to raise concerns about actions by China, repression of rights and the uh, hostage diplomacy that China has undertaken with Canadians. And I think that uh, we will hopefully hear from our global affairs minister or spokesperson soon that our government is concerned and that we are paying close attention to what's happening in Hong Kong um, and in Taiwan and in the other parts of the world where China has so much influence and appears to be rolling back rights that were hard won and are protected in law. Canadian senator who believes very strongly in freedom of the press, freedom of expression as being a cornerstone of a democracy and a key human right. I want to express to journalists in Hong Kong who are taking risks every day by reporting as they see the truth of the situation and to the uh, staff in particular who've been disrupted and I would imagine very disturbed by the latest violence at their workplace that comes in the uh, form of thugs. This is a very scary time and I thank you for your courage and I hope you will stay safe and you will continue to exercise freedom of the press, not only for the good of Hong Kong, but for the good of the world.